Tonight, you're looking at the inside of the elevators at the Colorado Light Rail Station in Southeast Denver, and you're probably asking why. Well, riders say this trash and clothing left behind hint of a larger safety issue for RTD. Thank you so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Jessica Porter. Glad you're with us tonight. RTD is attempting to address this with a new program starting today. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio explores how the agency wants to improve safety before riders even set foot on the train. This sign lets riders know that even though the elevator doors are open, it's still working and the doors won't close until a floor is selected. It's just one way that RTD is working to cut down on crime. As a way to get to and from the light rail platform, many RTD riders start in these elevators. But regulars like Ken Simpson say it doesn't always feel safe. It's on a daily basis. People are always in here smoking whatever drug they smoke off a piece of tin foil. Longtime RTD bus operator Ron Short tells a similar story, saying elevators have become havens for people experiencing homelessness and illegal drug activity. Especially in the early morning hours where I, where I drove, uh, the elevator was more or less held captive. Digging deeper, RTD stats show more than 350 complaints at these three stations just in the first two months of this year, which is why the elevator doors will now stay open over the next three months. An inexpensive pilot program with a total cost of $600. If you're not going to bring a security officer in at this point, I guess you'll save money. Project manager Pauline Haberman says it's not the only safety upgrade across the transit system. Over the last year, RTD has upgraded lights, improved landscaping, added TV monitors that display security feeds, and we've installed smoke detectors in public restrooms in the service area. Rider Stephen Lockwood says improving security is a process. You need to start somewhere. But many are pushing for better police presence on public transit. They should have more people on the light rail itself. To make a real change when it comes to crime. But I do also believe that uh, bodies need to be out there as well. A physical presence as well to make a difference. I'm Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. Now, at the end of the 90 days, RTD will see if there are fewer complaints, and then they will decide whether to expand this program at other light rail stations. Taking this in depth tonight, the pilot program is only a part of the agency's efforts to improve safety. For years, RTD has struggled to hire enough police officers to patrol its buses and trains. Back in January, the agency told us it has around 70 full time officers, and that's a big improvement from having only 20 in 2022. RTD says it has a short term goal to hire about 30 more officers and an additional mental health clinician this year. The agency also says it has installed high resolution cameras at park and rides across the district to help with criminal investigations. It's not just safety changes. RTD is also making some service changes this summer, including a major light rail project that will change things up for bus riders, train riders and even drivers in downtown Denver. Starting Memorial Day weekend and going through September, all D and H line trains through downtown Denver will be rerouted to Union Station. The L line service through downtown will also be suspended. This is all happening because RTD is constructing miles of new light rail track in Denver. And this work means no train service will operate in RTD's central corridor for more than four months. So to offset those changes, there will be additional bus services this summer. RTD will also add trips to the end line on Saturday nights because of expected high demand. A separate light rail project will have some big impacts for riders this week. RTD is suspending L line service starting tomorrow through Friday as crews work to make safety improvements along the line. Customers are encouraged to use bus route 43 as an alternative option. Normal L line service resumes next Saturday.